Hey guys, it's Alex, and welcome back to Ruby Tutorials for Beginners. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, Ruby classes and objects, and this is a pretty important topic as they're uh, used a lot in the Ruby language. Um, Alright, so let's get right into the tutorials. So basically, if you remember a couple of videos back, I talked about the data types in Ruby. And there are a couple of da data types like string, uh, boolean, integer, uh, double float and you know all types of uh, data types now you can think of a class as your own custom data type for example I'm an aviation fan which means that I like airplanes and there are thousands of men of uh, mo models of airplanes but they all have a name a manufacturer and a family so uh, when I when I'm creating a new airplane you know a data type of an airplane I want that aer airplane to have a name a manufacturer and a family so for each airplane, I can create a class. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to be, uh, this is how you define a class in Ruby. So you type in class and then the class name. And I'm going to type in airplane. All right, but in Ruby, it's common sense to uh, capitalize your, the first letter of the class name like this. And then we're going to end the class as we always do. Um, Alright, now I'm going to type in a method, uh, a class method, which is ATTR underscore A-C-C-E-S-S-O-R. And then I'm going to type in space, column, name, manufacturer, and uh, family. Alright, so basically what this means is that what I've wrote so far is a class airplane that has a name, manufacturer, and a family. This basically means that we, um, each airplane, this line of code basically means that each airplane is going to have a name, manufacturer, and a family. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to create a new airplane that is going to be the Boeing 737-800. Now, that will be an object. It will be an instance of an airplane, which will be an object. So, uh, the shorthand for the 737-800 is B738. Now, this is the name of the variable. And then I'm going to assign it to airplane, the name of the class, exactly the same, dot new with uh, brackets. Okay, w what this means is that uh, we have created a new instance of the class airplane. And a new instance is called an object. So, we have an airplane object. All right. Now, how do we set its name? Well, we're going to go below it and we're going to say, you know, b738.name equals uh, 737-800. Then we're going to set the manufacturer. So b738.manufacturer is Boeing. And the family is dot fam hold on a second. Dot family. And the family is 737. All right. Now we can basically say puts the name of the airplane so b738 dot name now let's run this and we get 737-800 now if i remove this line of code and we run the same thing we can say we can see that we get an error because we haven't set the name and define method name right um uh, actually let me go back um so basically and uh not only does this say that each class is going to have a name and manufacturer and family it also says that when we that uh, we can assign the name and we can get the name so it's a getter and a setter method um, so without this line of code we can't we can't assign the name and we can't get uh, display the name in the manufacturer and the family so it's good sense to you know always have this line of code all right now um, we can also have a uh, uh, custom methods in a class. So I'm going to define a method as we usually do in Ruby. So def and I'm going to say fly, right? And then I'm going to end it as we always do in Ruby. And then I'm just going to display I'm I'm flying or something, right? All right. Now we don't have to say b738.fly equals fly or something like that. All I have to do is call the method. So the object name b738.fly. Now let's uh, save it and run it and it says I'm flying. Alright so basically as you can see that when we have a method in a class 
um, the objects automatically inherit that uh, that method, so we can always call it call it. All right, let's create a new airplane. Uh, I'm gonna say Airbus A340-600. The short uh, term for it is A346, and then airplane dot new. Uh, all right, now let's set its name. Uh, its name is A340-600. Let's set its manufacturer. Um, dot manufacturer it's Airbus and its family is a340 all right now let's put out its name put a346 dot name and we get a340-600 now we can also say a300 a340 uh, dot fly because it's an instance of the uh, airplane class right here you know here we say that it's a new instance of the airplane class which basically means that it's an airplane object all right now as you can see um, it's getting really repetitive um, you know when defining a new object and in programming we have a dry principle which is don't repeat yourself and as you can see each time when I'm creating a new object we are uh, always assigning its name, manufacturer, and family. So four lines of code just to uh, set one object. And if you have like a thousand of more, you know, um, um, attributes, we will have a, th a thousand lines of code, you know, just to set one object. Now, can t what if I tell you that we can set all this in just one line? It's pretty simple and it's called a uh, constructor method. And um, we're going to define it. So we, we always do this. So def initialize, make sure you spell it exactly like this, because if it's not, it won't work. Def initialize and then brackets, and then we're going to end it. We put the brackets because it's going to be accepting parameters. You know, remember when I talked about methods in Ruby and we can always uh, assign parameters to the method. So I wanted the initialize method to have name, manufacturer, and family. So basically, this in initialize method gets run every time we run this code, you know. Um, and I can name this one whatever I want. I can set it to N, M, and F. Um, but I'm just gonna, for my convenience, I'm gonna name ma name manufacturer and family. Now I'm gonna set a custom variable name to name manufacturer to manufacturer and family to family and this name is pointing to this name not this one this we can do it without as well but uh, then we won't be able to output the name or change the name uh, later on all right um, so instead of doing all this let me delete this code we can um, in the brackets when defining a new object we can uh, go ahead and fill in the information so as you can see the first parameter is name so the name is 737-800 oh, the second parameter is manufacturer and that is Boeing the third uh, parameter is family and the family is 737 and then um, for the A340-600 the name is A3 a340-600 uh, the manufacturer is Airbus Airbus and the family is A340 all right now we can basically say do the same thing so b738.fly and then a340.fly let's run this oh. and we can see initialize wrong number Wait a second initialize uh, Ruby 15. Let's see why we're getting this error. Did I spell it wrong? Initialize. Yeah, okay, I, I guess I spelled it wrong. I don't know what was my mistake, what the mistake was. So you have to spell it like this, initialize. As I said, if you don't spell it right, you it will not work. All right, and now we can see that uh, we are getting I'm flying. Now we can also say put 738.name. And then uh, 
Oh, it's B738. Sorry about that. Uh, dot name 737-800. Now, what we can also do is after we have set this uh, object, we can um, basically, as you can see, that we set the name to 737-800. We can then later on change it when we have this line of code. So we can, uh, uh, this line of code, when we have it, we can change the name. So we can do b seven three eight dot name equals something else and then when we run b seven three eight dot name we get the um new name but if we don't have this line of code well actually without this line of code we can't even set the name and even if we can set it we can't access the name there is no getter or setter method so remember this first line of code attr underscore accessor is basically saying that uh, we can change this value and set this value we can change this value and set this value and we can change and set this value as well all right pretty simple now I want to just write one more uh, method to this class and that will be information so def information and then we're gonna end this method now I'm gonna just say puts um, the and then I'm going to write something, this, so hashtag and then two curly brackets. This basically means that we will be outputting the name of a variable here. So uh, I want the manufacturer var variable, manufacturer, then one more time, name is part of the same thing, family, uh, variable, family. All right. Now let's do call this a method for both of the airplanes. So dot information and then a three four six dot information. Let's clear and run it. And we can see the Boeing seven three seven dash eight hundred is part of the seven three family. Seven three seven family. The Airbus A three forty dash six hundred is part of the A three four family. All right, so this is pretty simple, as you can see. Um, basically, this is everything you need to know right now about uh, Ruby classes and objects. Um, I would encourage you to actually play around with um, classes and objects as they're pretty fun and you can do a lot of things with them. So I would definitely encourage you to practice uh, your knowledge. Uh, also, you will uh, learn a lot more. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, as I know that this can this um, learning process can be a little bit tedious, especially classes and objects. And I'll see you in the next video.